Hi everybody, it's great to see you. Um, welcome to our live webinar on the introduction to the Brick by Brick programme. Um, we're very happy to have you all here. We're going to um, get started in a moment, but we just want to give everybody a chance to, to get in the webinar and um, and make sure that they can all see and hear. Um, so my name is Gina. I'm one of the founders and directors of Play Included, and I'm here with my wonderful colleagues, Ellie, Jane and Abby. Um, so over to you, Ellie, to say hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Ellie Brett. I'm um, the, the other director of Play Included, and I'm an, an educational psychologist. It's nice to meet you all today. We're really pleased you could join us. We've got a very full webinar today. There's lots and lots of people registered to, to come along. Um, so it might take us a minute just to get everybody admitted, um, but we'll, we'll make a start very shortly. Yeah, so the plan is to um, to, to just give a quick introduction to the Brick by Brick programme and, and give you the chance to, to ask us some questions as well. Um, so maybe just... Um, while we're waiting to get started these next two or three minutes, maybe just uh, pop in the chat uh, where you're from in the world so we can see whereabouts in the world all these wonderful um, attendees have come from. And we've got the fantastic Jane and Abby from our team who are here to help out with the, the webinar. Um, they'll be in the background sorting out any um, technical issues or answering your questions or thinking about um yeah if you've got any uh comments um please do do uh use the chat wow so we've got scotland hong kong canada london norfolk oh i love norfolk that's where my parents live um indonesia wow australia welcome everybody what a range of people that's fantastic um, Bulgaria, Hungary, Newcastle, brilliant, and uh, Singapore. Welcome everybody, that's so fantastic to have you all here. Um, yeah, super, it must be a funny okay. time of day for some of you who are here with us today, those of you in Brazil and yeah. Australia. Yeah, yeah they, you might be tired. Feel free to, uh, feel free to um, watch the recording back if <laughs> it's a bad time of day for you and we've got Sonali in Nairobi hello and and Joanna from Cambridge hi Joanna oh, it's lovely to have you here fantastic um okie dokie so we'll get started a little bit um let me see if I can move this low oh, no I can't move the slides forward that's not a good start is it let me press a different button and oh, it's see letting if that me works. do it there we go I've got um, I've got the slides working here. So a big welcome, a very warm welcome. We are always so happy to talk to people about the Brick by Brick program. Um, so we're very excited to be able to do this with you today. Um, just a few points to get started, um, just to make sure you get the most out of it. So if you are um, joining on a mobile phone or a tablet, Try using headphones because sometimes the sound is not as good when you are on a mobile phone or a tablet. Um, as I said before, please use the chat function to um, type in any questions or comments. Um, what we'll do is we'll um, keep most of the questions for the end of the presentation um, and we'll go through with Abby and um, Jane will help us um, pick out your questions and we'll hope to get through as many as we possibly can um, at the end of the presentation. Um, just to let you know as well that we're recording the webinar and we'll record, we'll share the recording um, with you in the next few days. Um, the chat part won't be uh, recorded, but um, the presentation will be recorded and sent over to you. Um, we've got a few polls, little questions, um, just uh, for you to be able to answer on your screen or in the chat and we'll get a bit of feedback from you via a little survey at the end as well. Okay, so what we're going to talk to you about today is a little bit about Play Included, our company. Um, then we're going to talk about the Brick by Brick programme and there'll be a chance for you to ask your questions. OK, so over to Abby for just a quick poll. We're going to practice doing a little survey. Um, 
Okay. We'll Abby, over to you. Do you want me to stop sharing or can you do it without uh, no, sharing? No, that's absolutely fine. So hopefully now everybody should be able to see a quick poll on their screens or in their chat. And we just want to know, um, do you currently run Brick Club? So we, we, we're really uh, keen to find out those of you who perhaps are, are already connected with us and have got a few questions that you want to ask us. Or if you're completely new to the Brick Bride Brick Program, we'd love to know that as well. So if you could just uh, type click on yes or no and click on submit and then we can start to view the results from you if we just give everybody a, a couple more seconds just see i've got a couple of people typing their answers in the chat as well so that's great thanks ever so much just another five seconds and then i'll i'll close the poll Okay, so let's have a look at what responses we've got. We've got 18% of people have said yes, they're already running them, but 82% aren't. So we've got a, 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 a brand new audience to, to the Brick by Brick programme. So I think that's some, a bit of great information there for us, Gina and Ellie, to, to be able to start our uh, conversation on today. Thanks, Abby. Thanks for doing that poll and thanks everybody for filling that in. And it's um, absolutely fine if you're not running Brick Clubs yet. This is a, a chance for you to find out a little bit about what they are and what you what to do. And those of you that are running Brick Clubs, we love to hear your experiences and we love to hear um, your uh, your views of what's been been helpful and what's worked in your Brick Clubs. So do please share in the comments. Um, OK. So Play Included, we are a community interest company, which is a type of social enterprise, a not-for-profit social enterprise. Um, we're official partners with the Lego Foundation, who are the philanthropic arm of um, a philanthropic organisation um, who, I guess, donate a lot of money to charitable causes to support children around the world in learning through play. Um, and at Play Included, maybe the clues in the name, we believe that play has the power to help all young people grow and we want to ensure that all children have access to positive social experiences through play. And we try and um, fulfil our mission as an organisation with different programmes and activities. We have some um, lovely downloadable activity guides called the play at home activities and these are all around using lego bricks at home in a creative way to support relationships support play support having fun at home we also have um, the building friendships activities now these were designed um, just after the COVID-19 pandemic and everyone was going back to school and we felt there was a lot of focus on academic catch-up and not enough uh, focus on the catch up of um, play and social relationships. So we um, had a small grant to develop these free activities for a whole class at school as a primary school and a secondary school version. Um, and these again are all around collaborative Lego play, but as a whole class in school to kind of support children after the social isolation of coronavirus to um, start connecting with each other and playing with each other again. But what you're probably here to think about today is the Brick by Brick um, programme. And that is um, the main programme that we offer here at Play Included. And it's um, the aim is to support social and emotional well-being and communication for children. So um, the Brick by Brick programme is the latest thinking in what was formerly called Lego-based therapy. That term's um, not a term that's allowed to be used anymore. Um, and it's a group programme designed to support neurodivergent people, but all young people, to have meaningful social opportunities, to develop friendships, um, and through their Lego building, develop a sense of belonging to a club and a group. And through the collaboration and teamwork of building Lego models, um, children are exercising many social, emotional and communication skills. Um, children know the programme is Brick Club. We don't want to be stigmatising. This is a fun child led group. It's a club. Um, children build Lego models together in small teams. And the aim is to have fun and build confidence. So here is a video, which I hope will work, um, just to introduce the Brick by Brick programme to you. Hi, 
I'm Andy and I am a boy who came from Vietnam. I am Ben for short and I my real my full name is Benjamin. Um and this is my mum, Allison. Oh my name is Thomas and I am ten years old. How long I've been to Brick Club is quite some months ago. And I like Brick Club because when I first go into Brick Club I met a person and I was very surprised that the person came from Vietnam. Miss Dr. Camilla. I started Brick Club the day it started, so I started it because my mum thought it would be a good idea to help me be more social with other people that I might not know. Uh, the point of Brick Club is you build and play, but it's also like developing your collaborative skills and teamwork. I like Lego because Lego's way too good. Why it's good fun? Because you can, they can build up your imagination. And it's good because it can make your hands more handier. When I'm at Brick Club, everyone is different. So it helps when like stress or like anxiety. The part that makes us learn is because we build together and that basic not forces us but pretty much forces us to like be more social with each other in a good way oh it's better than building by yourself because because you can like help help your teammates and and you can like like describe what bricks you need so it's also like developing language and things like that the other good things with Lego is, hmm, because we can build many models such as vehicles. It can build imagination on your head. I was into Lego a little bit, but now that I've come to Brick Club, I like Lego a lot more because um, I realized how fun it was. I've definitely made lots of friends with everyone that goes to Brick Club and it's helped me make more friends outside of Brick Club in school. Like I've been more social and I have been not copying what I think someone else is doing and I made lots of friends in Brick Club and that's really helped my s social side of things. Coming to Brick Club is the best. You should go and try it out, it's so fun. So hopefully um, that little video has given you a bit of a taster for what the experts think about Brick Clubs. Um, I know some of you have had a few troubles with sound or visuals. Um, we do have a YouTube channel with our videos on it. Um, so do please... Um, check that out and we'll of course send you the recording of this webinar as well um, for you to watch back. Okay so the Brick by Brick program um, it's a very flexible program it can be adapted for different strengths and needs but it works very well for children who communicate using words and it's facilitated by adults usually health and education professionals and the sessions um, follow a careful sort of facilitation methodology which is all about learning through play so a lot of our training focuses on playful facilitation and what the adults can do to support the young people in brick clubs um, brick clubs are often used to support, support autistic children um, but we recognize that play included that social and emotional communication development is is relevant for everyone um, so you know it can be used much more flexibly um, I don't know how many of you have heard of Lego therapy or Lego based therapy before, um, 
but just if you if you have heard of this methodology and are wondering how it relates to the brick by brick program um this is what this this slide is about um so i suppose our brick by brick program that they included it's representing the most up-to-date thinking in this field um with um we've really taken on board um research into learning through play and um, got much more up to date with understanding neurodiversity and the role of, of acceptance and um, supporting neurodivergent communication and thinking styles in BRIC clubs. Um, so we've redesigned our, our training in the programme in collaboration with learning through play experts at the Lego Foundation, um, our autistic consultants and, and leading academics in the field. And we feel that the programme um, is neurodiversity affirming and, and some of the training is, is actually written by autistic individuals themselves. The Brick by Brick programme is, is based on evidence and, and, and research. So far, the research has, has really explored um, how to use collaborative Lego play to support social skills in autistic people. So I think this is a bit outdated. We're trying to shift the emphasis a little bit towards sort of moving towards improving all children's emotional and social well-being through offering positive, meaningful social experiences. Um, but we are sort of basing some of the work on um, our work on, on some of this research that shows um, social, social improvements following collaborative Lego, Lego play. Um, there's a, a large scale randomised control trial that's just about to be published um, called the I Socialised trial, which looks at um, looked at sort of um, collaborative Lego play um, in 240 children attending mainstream schools. So these these young people were in primary school and secondary school, so between the ages of seven and 15. And and the Lego programme was compared to just usual educational support. Um, the study uh, found high levels of acceptability for the programme. They found it was 94% likely to be cost effective. And just after a minimum of six weeks of one hour a week of, of the programme, there was a small um, significant positive effect of the programme. Small effect size, but after six weeks, that's, that's perhaps to be expected. Um, so that study's coming out fairly soon. Um, at Play Included, we really want to move away from trying to um, look at impact on, on social skills and move towards thinking about spaces and places where um, children can feel accepted, feel a sense of belonging um, and develop social confidence and, and, and social well-being and emotional well-being um, based on um, a shared interest in a place that they want to be and doing things that they want to be doing. Um, and a kind of a respectful uh, stance towards neurodiversity. So we've done an independent evaluation of our new Brick by Brick programme, and this was um, carried out by At Autism, the consultancy group. Um, and this evaluation, um, the facilitators, the adults delivering the programme told us that children have fun, they're motivated to come to Brick Club, they're excited, they feel engaged. They said that Brick Clubs have helped children to make friends, feel more confident, feel less anxious um, and get more confident at making their own decisions and choices. The Brick Club should be very child led um, and that actually they had an impact on the families as well. So the families whose children um, came to Brick Club met other families with similar experiences and helped them to learn about autism in a positive light. But what's most important is to ask the experts, the young people themselves. Um, so when I'm at Brick Club, everyone is different. So it helps with stress or anxiety, says Ben. Brick Club is the best, says Andy. You should go and try it. It's so fun, says Thomas. And Isaac says in Spanish, me gusta más que la tablet, which is I like it more than my tablet. So that to me is the best feedback I've ever had about anything. Um, because yeah, gosh, to compare anything with a with a screen and do better is quite extraordinary. So there's some common misunderstandings out there about the brick by brick program and Lego therapy and, and collaborative Lego play. Some people believe it's just play. Uh, we think there's so much involved in play and nothing can ever be just play. Um, 
Some people think it's just building a Lego set in three roles following certain instructions. There's actually much more flexibility than that. Um, often uh, there's a misconception that you build a Lego set in three roles with only one person being able to see the picture and the instructions. Um, that's actually quite limiting and we want to use the visual strengths of, of children and, and support collaboration and joint focus and like helping each other out. So we do want everyone to be able to see the picture when they when they build in Lego Club. Um, there's a lot about turn taking in the Brick by Brick programme and you can swap jobs and interact with each other and um, some there's a, a common misunderstanding that, that actually it's per session rather than child led. The child should decide when to swap roles. Um, describing the Lego pieces is part of the programme, but it's not the be all and end all. Sometimes people get very focused on describing the, the Lego brick rather than thinking about the kind of social and emotional side of the programme. Lots of people think Lego building is just for young children or just for boys. Um, this is so not the case. I think adults really enjoy Lego building. Lots of girls like Lego building. Um, and in fact, in the I Socialize study, there was an indication that this programme was um, perhaps more beneficial in the children who were older rather than younger. Um, and there's, uh, I guess, um, huge scope for creativity. You don't have to build a set following instructions. You can also design and create your own uh, Lego models and your own designs. Um, We've noticed at Play Included, as, as the popularity of, of Lego therapy has grown, that there's so much information on the internet about what Lego therapy is. Um, lots of sort of resources that you can just download and print. Um, and that sort of takes the focus away from the process and, and puts it too much on sort of the content of, of building a set in three roles. Um, so there's, there's this misconception that you can just download a bit of information from the internet and you don't need any training. And we believe that you do need training, that actually it's really fundamental to the success and the ethos of your brick clubs um, to have a, a properly trained adult facilitator. So on that note, I shall hand over to Ellie, who's going to talk to you about our training pathway in the Brick by Brick programme. Hi, everybody. Hopefully you can hear me OK. So uh, like Gina said, we really strongly believe that uh, training is important. And the reason for that is that it's, it's the facilitator that really is important in the Brick Clubs. So we want to make sure that Brick Clubs are run by well-trained, playful facilitators to make sure that the outcomes for the children are as positive as they can be. So we've been busy creating a training pathway and I'm going to take you through that today. Okay, so we have um, four levels of training, uh, two at level four. Initiate is the first level, so level one, and that's the training that's most widely available. So this is our online training. Um, it's available in a number of countries. I'll tell you which countries those, those are in a minute. And this is a, a self-paced um, uh, online course taking about six to eight hours. So the idea is that once you've completed the initiate course, you can start your, your brick clubs. You'll have the resources to get going. So the initiate course, the online course is available I'm going to whiz through the countries here because it's quite a long list. We've got the UK, Ireland, Spain, America, Canada, UAE, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Mexico, Colombia, Peru and Argentina. So if you live in one of those countries, you'll be able to access the level one course online. We've also got the level one course in person for the first time in the United Kingdom. The first time we've done it in person since before COVID. So that's very exciting for us as well. And if you're in the UK, um, our latest offering is a fast track course where you can do level one and level two in person over two days. So if you're interested in doing it uh, in person, have a look on the website for those. Um, level two facilitator course, I'll talk about in a bit more detail in a minute, but the level two course is available in the UK. And as of last week, it also available in Mexico from September onwards. Um, so keep a check on the website if you're based uh, if you're based in Mexico or nearby. And hopefully also available in Australia from around September onwards as well. We've got a mailing list if you want some information, feel free to add your names and we'll, we'll keep you updated when new courses are added. If I move that slide on, can you all see that? 
it's generated at. Hopefully you can all see that, but do pop in the chat if you can't. There's a thumbs up. Good, good, good. <laughs> OK, so to tell you a little bit more about the Level 1 Initiate course, um, we've had really fantastic feedback about the, the Initiate course. It takes around six to eight hours and it will give you lots and lots of information um, to enable you to go and set up your Brick Clubs. It also gives you lots of resources to enable you to set up your Brick Clubs. So we will take you through the resources within the training and then you, once you've completed the course, you'll have access to a resource centre um, where you'll be able to download those resources and use those in your clubs. So to share the feedback with you, 95% felt their expectations were exceeded or met, and 95% would highly recommend the course to others. So we're really proud of our online course. But like I said, we have also added a in-person one-day course in the UK too. And the reason for that um, is, is that some people prefer to do a course in person, so we want to be offering both. But unfortunately, that's just in the UK at the moment. To take you on to the next slide. So the level two facilitator course, um, although the, the online course is designed so that you can go and get your brick club set up, we really strongly believe in the power of um, playful facilitation. And the level two course is an in-person course because you need to experience that hands-on play and hands-on facilitation to be able to, uh, to strengthen your facilitation skills. So we have a one day experiential course where we look at facilitation in much more detail, much more depth, and we give you some, some skills for you to take away to use in your brick clubs and your facilitation. Once you've completed the level two course, that enables you to become a recognized brick by brick facilitator. So we'll be adding a, a register of practitioners onto the website so that you can add your name to that and people can find you if you're going to be running brick clubs um, publicly. The feedback from the level two facilitator course has also been really excellent. So 93% very likely or likely to recommend to others and 79% strongly agree that their facilitation skills have improved after attending the facilitator course, um, not just from the level one course. Next one. So another benefit of completing the training with us is that we uh, we don't just train you and leave you. We uh, we continue to support you with ongoing uh, support and high quality resources. So currently, um, when you complete the training, you get one year of Play Included membership for free. And that may change in the future, but at, at this present time, it's free. Um, and the, the membership gives you access to all of the resources that you need to run your clubs. So there's two levels of, mem of membership. There's a level one membership for the initiate course, and then there's a level two membership for the facilitator course. So if you go on to do the facilitator course, you get access to additional resources. We're also busy working on translating these resources. So we've got the resources translated into Danish, Spanish, um, Chinese and uh, Swahili as well. That was from part of our, our pilot project. There's access to an online community of practice. So that's um, supported by Abby Dodson, who's here helping today. She's our community engagement coordinator, doing a brilliant job of, of helping you all in the community of practice. We've got free Q&A sessions with um, Jean McPherson, who's our senior psychologist and programme lead, and with Abby. And we're adding lots of new resources all the time. So we're adding new membership content and um, adding, we're hoping to add new written guides and new video guides. And that's really to, to keep supporting you, to keep your practice um, fresh and to keep developing your facilitation skills. So if you're interested on in, in, in training with us and starting your brick by brick journey with Play Included, um, you can book online. So those countries that I listed, you would be able to book um, directly on the website. If you live somewhere that wasn't listed and you would be interested in booking, if you email us, um, I'll put the, the email in the chat. If you email us, um, we can uh, send you a link so that you can make a booking for the online course. Um, I'm typing that in the chat and I can't do two things at once. That's confused me. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, ha have a look on the have a look on the website if you if you are interested in booking, and if you are also interested in accessing one of the translated courses. So we're going to be translating the e-learning into um, Spanish, Danish, and Chinese. So if you'd rather access it in those languages, if you add your name to our waiting to our um, mailing list on the website, we'll let you know as soon as those are um, are launched. Okay, I think we've got some time for questions now. Um, 
I can see some of you have been busy popping questions in the chat, which is brilliant. Thank you. So if you uh, if you want to keep popping questions in there, and Abby is going to fire questions over to us, and me and Gina will do our best to answer answer those in the time that we've got left. Awesome. I saw a um, a question about um, oh, membership. How much is the membership mm -hmm. after the first year? So at the moment we're thinking between fifty and eighty pounds. <laughs> so it's a bit uncertain as yet. But um, yeah, it's it's we're trying to keep it very reasonable because actually what we really care about is the quality of the Brick Clubs for children and um, making we've got to obviously cover our costs for running the membership. But um, we want to make it um, as easy as possible for people to continue being a member. And you do have to be a member to be actively running Brick Clubs. We do ask that. Um, and that's sort of for safeguarding children's and, um, uh, you know, quality purposes. Um, we've got another question, advice on group size and do all the children need to be the same age, ability and level of need? Um, that's a great question. Mm. Um, so there's no research really to help us um, know the answer to that question. Um, in our experience, it does help to think carefully about group dynamics and group makeup. Um, so certainly the kind of children do do well if they're sort of all similar level of ability um whether or not that means they've got the same um diagnoses or not um is is another question i think there's there's some pros and cons to having a group that's made up of all children of this who share a share a diagnosis like all autistic children or all um neurodivergent children um that can work really nicely um, and then there's research showing that that actually that's really important for neurodivergent children to to socialize with other neurodivergent children um, on the other hand it might be um, really helpful to um, you know to meet with a variety of different children um, who have different challenges and, and that's a really nice experience for children too and to sort of help each other out so um, yeah, but the same kind of developmental level, the same kind of motor skills is um, is important. Um, Ellie, do you want to take a couple of questions? Yeah, I'll take a couple of questions. We've got a question from Donna. Is the programme suitable for young children, EYFS, which in England stands for Early Years Foundation Stage, so children who are sort of preschool or just starting school, age four or five? Um, we we have the research has been done from age six upwards so we haven't researched with very young children although there have been some some smaller studies that have looked at using it with with younger children we've got um some different play zones we call them within within our program um there's communicate collaborate and connect and the communicate level is aimed at those children who are maybe a little um too young or the language is not developed enough or they've got some additional challenges that make it harder for them to access the program in the typical way so the communicate level provides language builders and support and resources uh, for the children who, who maybe are a bit younger so i would say um yes but we haven't researched it and you would need to make some adaptions to the program so you probably would be using duplo rather than lego it might be more heavily adult supported um, and and lots of visual supports alongside, but there is a caveat on the research front. OK, uh, let's take a next question. Um, how much is the training? There's quite a few questions about that. Uh, so the training is £240 uh, plus tax if tax is due in your country or your region. Um, and that's for the online course for the level one and the in-person course is £250 plus VAT. You want to take a um, comment, Gina? Yeah, so sure. where, where is the in-person training? At the moment, it's in the UK with a few venues in the UK. Um, this is the level one that I'm talking about, um, in-person training. Um, I think the, um, the level two in-person training is available in the UK in New Zealand, in Hong Kong, in Mexico, um, and soon to be Australia. Um, all of the details of the training courses with the different venues and locations is available on our website, playincluded.com. So do take a look there. Um, 
And yes, live education on demand in other EU countries. I mean, do contact us. We are obviously limited in our availability to travel and to to do um, do courses in different languages. Uh, so it depends on the country. We're, we're pretty good at Spanish in play included. Um, two of us speak Spanish in our team. Um, but uh, so do do contact us and, and we can we can let you know um, the online learning in um, in English is available in, in other EU countries. Um, and we've got Anna, um, a taster. Um, we can certainly, I mean, guess I guess we can try and show you a little bit of the online learning course if you're interested to have a little look at it before committing. Um, I don't know if you need a taster of the training, Anna, or a taster of the actual program itself. Um, a lot of the videos maybe on our YouTube channel might help you with that decision um, as well. Um, and how long do we recommend the sessions to last? We we usually recommend, if possible, an hour to an hour and a half a week. Um, over the course of up to, well, I mean, some people carry on for, for years because they enjoy it so much. So it can be kind of an open ended program. We recommend at least a school term, um, ideally a whole school year, if possible. Um, Abby, one of Abby or Jane will put our YouTube channel in the in the chat for you to have a little look there. We've got a question. Do you have to do the level one if you're already running Brick Clubs or can you go straight on to level two or three? Uh, we, we do ask that everybody completes the training uh, sort of following the order. So level level one is recommended. And the reason for that is that we've changed so much in the programme um, compared to sort of Lego based therapy. There, there was another question about someone who's trained with us before and do they need to, um, to access a new training to register? Uh, if you have completed training with us before in the Brick by Brick programme um, or uh, with Bricks for Autism, uh, please, please get in touch and we'll see if we can help you. Um, there might be an email that you've, you've missed, so just send us an email on that one. Um, let's have a look at some more questions. Is it suitable for young adults in an SEND school? Absolutely, yes. Um, there's there's no sort of upper age limit and, uh, and certainly uh, it works in a specialist provision. Again, you might need to use some adapted resources, but those are all provided within the, the sort of play zones and the different resources that we've got. And how much investment is needed in terms of resources? Because Lego is crazy expensive to when I was a kid. Yes, it is, isn't it? We we uh, we recognise that too. Um, and we in the training we talk about uh, sort of how how many kits that you need and how much uh, Lego you need. But we we do encourage you to to look for other means to get that Lego as well. So you know if you want to buy buy Lego on kind of the the used market. Um, or find sort of Lego Lego on offers, but generally you'll need sort of a, a small kit per week. And as they progress, you could go on to some bigger kits that would last for a couple of weeks. So you can sort of make it last a little bit longer. But it is Lego, you know, we do recognise that that Lego is not a cheap resource and uh, and we do all we can to help you with ideas with that. Um, so there's a question here from Sophia saying that level three is in the works, a specialist level. Yes, that's right. Um, we're going to be working on it this year and next year. Um, we've got so many wonderful ideas for specialist uh, training. Um, it's something I'm really excited about to kind of deep dive into different age groups, different populations, different activities, different ideas and use cases for, for the Brick by Brick programme. Um, so do watch this space, Sophia. We don't have an actual deadline yet, um, but we're working hard on it in the background and, and sign up to our mailing list and we will let you know as soon as that's ready. Um, and then there's a question, how does the programme support a range of student abilities or differentiated needs? So I think there's huge flexibility in the brick by brick programme and the methodology um, because it's child led and you as the practitioner will be able to flexibly adapt to the needs and abilities of the students that you're working with. Um, to help you with that, we do have differentiated resources, differentiated kind of goals for the programme um, in the in the different play zones that we've um, outlined. And there's communicate, collaborate and connect depending on the different abilities of the of the children and young people in your in your clubs. I hope that helps. Discounts on buying Lego in bundles for the club. We 
we don't sell Lego bricks at, at Play Included. You have to source your own Lego bricks. Um, we're just not set up um, for kind of distribution or um, selling Lego bricks. So you will have to do that yourselves. Um, and you may be able to find discounts from different shops or um, different, uh, yeah, maybe online. Um, but we do recognise it, it can be a barrier and it's expensive. And mm -hmm. we're working on, on how to help um, that within the limits of what we can do. There's a question here from someone who works in a mainstream further education college supporting neurodiverse learners and wondering if there's a differentiated programme for 16 to 19 plus learners. Uh, Gina's answer may have just answered that question for you, um, but the uh, the Connect resources are aimed at, at older learners um, and they look at kind of more complex Lego play to make it more motivating and interesting for them. So we talk about things like making stop action movies or using robotics and coding uh, Lego materials. Um, so, so yes, absolutely, it's uh, it's differentiated for for all levels. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, no, don't worry. Um, you go ahead, Ellie. I was just going to go on to the next question. So, if there's anything to add on to that one, feel free. I was going to read the one that says, "Do you have the Lego resources, or do you tell us where to get them?" Which I think is the same same answer as before. We don't sell the Lego resources. Um. Often it's it, the young people should have a say in what kind of Lego they want to build in their club if you can. Um, but yes, hopefully you can can find some reasonable sources of um, reasonable sources of Lego. Um, there's a question here about organisation being interested in the train the trainer model and can we know more about level three or plus? Um, yeah, I should have talked about that. I think I, I went off on a, a tangent and talked about something else. So as Gina said, the specialist, the level three we're working on, the training for trainer model, uh, we're currently training uh, sort of large organisations that can work as a kind of a training partner for us rather than than training organisations. Um, but do get in touch if, you, if you'd like to kind of share your UK use case and, and want to know a little bit more. And then the mentor course, the level, the other level four course we are also working on. So hopefully 2024, um, but we will let people know on the mailing list when that's ready. Okay. Um, how many per group in a session? Gosh, I mean, again, that depends on the young people and their needs. Anything from two, one to a whole class. Um, so my favourite size is around six to nine children, 10, six to 10. Um, but it depends on how, you know, what level of adult support that young people need and um, what their preference is um, and what your staffing levels are. Um, would Brick by Brick be interested in linking up with the Deaf Academy to get the training translated into BSL? Yes, that sounds great. Do contact us. We're always really interested to, to speak to, to people um, about different pilots of research and, and translation. So, yes, please, Samantha, do contact us. Um, do we know anyone in Brazil? Not off the top of my head. Um, we is. we will eventually be having a um, uh, a website function where you can search for a brick club in my area. Um, we're just working on that at the moment with some website development um, so that facilitators can um, you know register where their club is and and parents and, and young people can find the clubs. So we'll get that to you as soon as we can. I think here's a question about for a group of 10, how many Lego kits would you need? Um, it's very difficult to put a number on it, but I'd say you need at least sort of four Lego kits per session and then a good amount of freestyle Lego once you move on to the freestyle Lego. We generally move on to that a little bit later once the group's established. Um, but remember, those four kits can rotate around. Uh, you don't need four fresh kits per session because they would take in turns to build them. Um, I'd definitely say four, four per session, and then uh, you're going to be running it for, for around a term. So at an estimate off the top of my head, my maths is terrible, but maybe maybe 20 models. What would you say, Gina? Yeah, something like that. I that. think, um, yeah, but quite small models it's... if you're building fresh one each week. It depends on the size of the model. It depends mm -hmm. on the ability of the children. It depends how fast they build it. Um, so start off with maybe four or five sets and some a range of 
uh, you know, just freestyle Lego bricks that aren't linked to any any particular kit with instructions. Absolutely. OK. Um, okay. Think we're out of out of time and hopefully have answered all of the questions. But if, if we haven't, uh, please do feel free to to get in touch with us. We're going to put a poll up now. If you wouldn't mind just answering the the poll questions quickly before you leave. Abby, seem, um, to Abby, just one more that. question in the chat that says, what's the difference between our initiate and facilitator training and be inclusive brick by brick academy Lego based therapy online training? I don't know because we've never done um, be inclusive brick by brick academy Lego based therapy online training. Um, I think we are the original version of Lego therapy um, in our organisation. Um, so you can be sure that you've got the kind of official version. We're the only organisation that is um, endorsed and recognised by the Lego Foundation. Um, and uh, and we comply with all of the um, legal frameworks around the use of the term Lego. So we, we know that Lego based therapy is a term that is um, perhaps not not um, allowable with the Lego group's trademark requirements. We have, I guess, really um, up to date uh, training based on kind of neurodiversity. And um, we have um, worked with the Lego Foundation and, and leading academics in the field to, to develop our programme. Um, so that's I don't want to kind of um, sort of compare and contrast, but I guess our, we we think our training is great and you're very welcome to try it. Um, I'm not sure what exactly what the differences are between our training and and other people's training courses, um, but you can be sure that ours, we, we focus a lot on, on um, quality and experiential learning and um, and I guess, uh, yeah, we're the, we're the only organisation in this field who is, is endorsed by the Lego Foundation. Okay, lovely. Thank you, everybody, so, so much for joining. It's been wonderful to have you all here today. We've had such a fantastic turnout. Um, thank you for all your, your kind words in the chat as well. We hope it's been useful for you. And if you do have any follow-up questions, please do, uh, do drop us an email so you can contact us at bookings at, with an S, bookings at playincluded.com or if you visit our website, um, there should be lots of information on there for you too. Um, so thank you again. I hope our paths cross again. Hope to see some of you on the, the training and thank you all for joining today. Yeah, thank Bye. you all so much. Thank you and do get in touch. We're very friendly and, and we love to hear from you. So, um, yeah, do let us know if we can help in any way. Have a lovely day, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.